Hey, brothers and sisters. I just want to get on, come on here and talk to you guys a little bit about something. I'm a little bit uh, frustrated. You know, I, I hang out uh, on different videos, making comments sometimes, trying to do my best to correct gospel error, biblical error. And, you know, there's a lot of trolls out there trying to tear down the body, trying to tear down our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, trying to tear down His Word. And what I see over and over and over and over again is I see well-meaning Christians that come across as maybe baby Christians. And, uh, you know, they're just not approved workmen. You, you can only get so much mileage out of, well, I know it's real because I feel. And um, I, so I've done videos on that and I've given people ammunition of how to respond to that and, you know as an example I posted several times a video by uh, Bodie Beckman talking about why he believes the Bible that it was written by 40 different authors over a 1500 year period 66 books and um, 23,000 archaeological digs, and not one dig has disproven anything in the Word. So, you know, I do my best to equip the saints, uh, but it seems like, you know, the apathy is just amazing. People just relying on their own beliefs rather than what is written in this book, okay? You actually have to read the book. And it seems to me that the body's not reading the book. And so, which brings me to the point of this video. Now, uh, here's a, uh, this guy, well, actually it's a girl, uh, as I understand it. You know, she challenged one of the believers and trying to call the Holy Bible a book of fairy tales and and she or he it um, said okay um, if you know here's one instance for you verily I say to you that there be some standing here which shall not taste death but shall see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom Matthew 16 28 and he, he, she, it goes on to say, oops, I just proved your Bible and Jesus himself wrong. And um, so I just sit and I watch. I, 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 you know, I watch and I see how people are going to resolve these issues. And, um, you know, it's deer in the headlights. People are not equipped to answer these things. And I'm not saying that you have to know it all because I don't know it all. But we live in the greatest time ever in the history of man. I mean, in the information age. We have this stuff available at, at, you know, the tips of our fingers. If we just simply do an internet search and start do, doing a little digging, a lot of times we'll have the answer within 60 seconds or less. Certainly, you know, no more than, than you know, 5, 10 minutes in most cases. And so I sat and I watched as no one was able to answer this situation, this question, and um, so I did, and of course, blood tar, after I gave the answer, um, never came back and um, refuted what I said, because the information was solid, so now blood tar is at it again, and um, now they're saying, uh, so, uh, can you show me proof of who offered the New Testament book of Mark? How about Luke? And so, you know, it's probably going to be the same thing during the headlights. So, you know, I'm thinking, well, you know, this has probably come up about 14 billion times already. People have had answers. So, you know, questions, and, and, and I'm sure, you know, people have done the research. So why invent, you know, reinvent the wheel? When, it, when the research has already been done, just go scout it out. So, you know, I simply went to uh, Yahoo and uh, search, and I just typed in, is there proof 
Luke wrote the book of Luke. And you go down here and you click on this link. And uh, uh, who incidentally, I think uh, Walter Martin actually started this uh, organization. Of course, Wal Dr. Walter Martin's been long been dead, but if you guys know who he is, he wrote Kingdom of the Cult. Very knowledgeable guy, way more knowledgeable than I will ever be, because he's just, I mean, his memory, the man's memory was just genius. And I'm certainly not a genius. So, but, you know, <coughs> excuse me, God has given me tools. So you click on the link. And sure enough, Somebody has done the homework. Okay? So, you know, and, and here's the answer. So, and I'm not going to read this whole thing to you, but, um, you know, if you want to be an approved workman, here's an idea. Why don't you take a look at it and read it for yourself? I mean, isn't that what the Bible says to do? I mean, look, I'll even show it to you here. You know, I've got this free Bible program, uh, and it's, uh, you know, you just simply type in, give an answer. I mean, if you can remember that part of the scripture, at least a small part, you put it up there, you do a search, you come up with some uh, verses, and here's the one you're looking for here. First uh, Peter 3.15, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asks you a reason for the hope that is in you. I mean, come on. Church, what is wrong with you? We, we live in the greatest information age in the history of man. All this information is available. And yet you guys are just friggin' pathetic. I mean, from, you know, pre-tribulation rapture, false doctrine, satanic teachers to um, you know, just not being able to answer the questions. Uh, you know, you got Pastor Dow out there talking about black Hebrew Israelites and, and all that, and, and you know, step, how they're special and how the white man's going to burn in hell and how we're all white devils and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, what does the Bible say? What does the Bible say? Take, take a look at the Bible. For there is no difference between Jew nor Greek. For the same Lord is Lord, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, you know, Pastor, you can take your racist, Muslim, Islam, laced faith and stick it where the sun don't shine. Because I'm sick of you and I'm sick of all the haters. And, you know, I don't hate you. I hate what you're teaching, I hate what you're preaching, because it's a lie of the devil, and I'm fed up. And I'm fed up with this apathetic, sissified, watered-down church that, you know, is just a disgrace. It, it, it's a disgrace to our Lord Jesus Christ. So, you know, I just thought I'd come on here and tell you that, you know, you guys need to get with it, and you, you stop embarrassing yourself. And stop embarrassing the Lord. Okay? I mean, you do nothing. You study. You know, sure, you might surf around and give a little occasional comment here. But I, I, I'm constantly seeing you guys get beat down. All right? And, you know, it's just like, what is going on? I mean, Jesus himself has given us power over surface of scorpions. He's given us the word. Um... How are you going to fight demons and fallen angels and you can't even fight off friggin' atheist trolls? Do, do you guys know what time it is? Do you have any frigging idea what time it is? How late the hour is? Hey, let me, I'll give you, I'll tell you what. I'll just share this with you then. And hopefully you can get this. How about this? This is a... Uh, a video or a, or article on Tobo Global Collapse coming. And, um, you know, I'm sure we've been hearing this. But how about this, okay? Um, as I have been saying for years, economic collapse is likely shorter, uh, excuse me, likely shortly 
before, as Bible prophecy warns us, the Antichrist takes advantage of global chaos and seizes power in June 2016. I don't know where he gets season power June 2016, I mean, but, but okay, I, you know, I'll go with that, or I'll roll with that. Economists are warning that uh, of collapse in 2015. Hello, hello, that's this year? This year, okay? Rabbi uh, Jonathan Kahn says the Shemitah cycle warns of collapse in September um, 2015. Actually, I think it's September 23rd to be exact. You know, the blood moons and all that stuff. I take that stuff a little bit with a grain of salt, but I got to tell you, it is pretty interesting. And, um, but, you know, hey, I've seen a lot of death. I've seen people go at the snap of a finger. Okay. So I'm not one of these people sitting around waiting on the rapture and waiting to be taken out of here and stuff like that. I'm here to do a job, and I'm here to do the best job that I can while I'm here. All right, Lord wants to take me home. I'm ready to go. And that doesn't matter, you know, if it's the Russians coming at us, they're going to nuke us. If it's some satellite or, or, or some meteorite, you know, going to hit us or, or asteroid or, you know, uh, uh, pole shift. Uh, Ebola, uh, world financial collapse, the, you know, hey, we've got it all. We, we, we pick, pick your poison, you know. Bottom line is, you got to be ready, you got to live today, and you got to be doing everything that you can do to bring people into the kingdom, okay? And I did a video the other day, you know, what are you doing? Are you a profitable servant or an unprofitable servant? I got to say, I... You know, I'm going to be put in a position where I'm going to have to bear probably witness against the vast majority of you. I mean, you do, most of you don't do anything at all, uh, but occasional comments. Most of you just sit back and, and just, you know, take it all in without even giving feedback. And a lot of your, you know, the information that you give is just, an error, you know, I, I sit and I watch these preacher rapture teachers, you know, you know, the hook is rapture, rapture, rapture. You, you want a bunch of donations? Just do a video on, uh, you know, the rapture's coming any day and you'll get hooks because that, that's what people want. Hey, I'm not that guy. And here's news for you. I've got over 270,000 views and that's nothing. I mean, some people have over mil you know, 33 million views on one video. I mean, but, you know, the bottom line is, <coughs> is I'm out here trying to serve the Lord, trying to preach the gospel, trying to correct errors, and you know what? In all these years, I've never gotten one dollar donation from the YouTube crowd. And I can't even count the hours and effort and energy that I've expended on this. You know, when I was in business, I made $150 an hour, minimum. Minimum. And you guys aren't doing anything on your own, most of you. I'm sure there's exceptions. So I apologize to those that are trying. But you're so few and far between. I mean, where are you? So, you know, let me get to the last point of this, this paragraph I was reading. Uh, again, uh, I'll just repeat this one sentence. Rabbi Jonathan Kahn says the Smita year cycle warms and collapse in September 2015. Here's the hook. I haven't verified this, but this is pretty spooky stuff. All right. All 16... Major U.S. intelligence agencies are warning of economic collapse soon. What do you think that's going to mean to you? Are you ready? Are you prepared? Are you walking with the Lord? Are you hearing His voice? Are you promoting Him? You know, He flat says, if you don't promote Him, He's not going to promote you. Isn't that what the Bible says? You guys better wake up. Because it's about to get real. Okay? 
So with that, love you. Sorry I'm frustrated with you, but uh, I'm, I'm getting fed up with false teachers, and I'm getting more fed up with the body that's allowing it. Just like the U.S. population is allowing this nutcase that we have we call a president in the White House. He's clearly a pathological liar, can't be trusted, Congress is worthless. What are we doing about it? We the people, sitting on our butt, waiting on the tank t Titanic to sink. Why? Why? Where's your courage? My Bible says cowards don't make it to heaven. Look it up. It's there. Book of Revelation. You're a coward. You're not going to heaven. Sorry. So, with that, love you. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just frustrated. You guys need to help. Get involved. Do something, would you? Do something. Show me. Do something. Thanks.